being hypersonic. And we're too big for them to tractor in. This can keep us from passing. Range to Mendra. 650. Get it now! Patient's coming round, Douglas. You've been in an accident, sir. Your ship crashed while landing here on cryos. Luckily, you were in a cryopod at the time, so your injuries weren't extensive. Accident? How? We'll deal with that later. Our first job is to get you back on your feet. You need to stay with us for some rehab. There's plenty of time. Yeah, but I don't remember anything. What ship? What's happening? The Calera, Sir Aris. We know that's your name from your cryopod. It may take a while for your memory to return. In the meantime, just relax. Everything's going to be fine. Okay. I just wish you would tell me who he was. We'll get our memory back eventually. You talk to all your patients as though they were children, mm. Dr. Frevel, or is it just me? I'm sorry. You find that usually people in your condition appreciate a gentle approach. Yeah, well, I'm not usual people. No. I don't believe you are. 
We wouldn't normally divulge this information to patients. But we did a record search on you and it wasn't good. Make my day. I'm a mass murderer. I wouldn't joke about that if I were you. It could be almost anything. Prior to two weeks ago, you don't exist. Either someone's erased your records, or else there was an accident in your home planet state in it. My home planet? Jeez, where is home? Where's my family? Do I have a family? Am I married? Do I have children? Who the hell am I, Dr. Frebel? It'll come, Liv. This is all quite normal with trauma sustained in crime. Gyro Just how long was I in that icebox for? We're still working on that. But you can afford to stay in one for as long as you like. Meaning? Meaning one thing that did come down from your data check. Your account. And you registered about a week ago. You have an exceptionally attractive credit rating, Sir Alice. Nice. Gyrosession. Please it wasn't overdrawn in the memory bank. Levaris. He's in physio at the moment. Can I ask who wants him? New Christ Examiner. We're here to interview him about the Canera crash. This consultant will have to clear it first. Clear this, Mr. Nurse. You know something? I think I could really get to enjoy this journalism thing. Cryo-associated memory loss may take months to resolve itself. But when it does, some patients are a little disappointed. The reality of someone's past often fails to match up to what they'd imagined it might be. Right now, it's self a disappointment. You may have to. In time, your memory is likely to recover completely. But how do I know that? How will I ever be sure there's not one more nasty little memory just waiting to jump? Judge session. We're here to visit a man. I mean, a friend who's a man. Sir Lev Aris. 5A, sirs. First slide, walk on your left. Follow the... Oh. Try and take it easy for the time being. If you overstress yourself, it'll only prolong the problem.
angry man. Yeah, yes, I, I guess I could eat. You are starving, don't deny it. A barman nowadays, he has to have a sixth sense about his customers. And I'm nothing if I'm not a barman. Your credit's sweet enough. So, we have uh, stew, we have lizard guts, oh, and we have space bug gumbo. I'll have the stew, please. I could have told you that. And you prefer your beer lukewarm, right? No. No, actually, I prefer it. Lukewarm. Loudmouth, vicious cutthroat. Oh. Uh. But they're decent loudmouth cutthroats. So they're, uh, they're no trouble, huh? No, nothing I can't see coming. Though some spaces, as soon as they walk in, I can smell it on them, so I'll break their necks just a little to be on the safe side. No trouble I smell on you. Uh-uh. I left my troubles outside. Good. As soon as I saw you, I said, well, there's one smart vertebrae. Hang around here and I see you all right. Decent food and drink. Maybe a couple of juicy deals. Oh, a respectable guy like you wants to be careful where he's seen. You don't want to hang out in some spitting sawdust toilet with a liquor license. You need somewhere like this. A place with a little, uh, fame. Thanks for the advice, sir. Well, my friends call me Joe. Probably because that's my name. <laughs> They're various. Of course you are. Wholesalers, jobbers. You might say that I run a very moist establishment. Sounds more than slightly illegal. I don't like the sound of it. Maybe I can get a bargain. Something a little hot. Shit dealers, maybe. Not many. Let's go for use the booth system now. Well, I'll keep an eye out for something, huh? If you like. I was wondering if I could see a Dr. Loomis. He admitted me when I first came in. One moment, please. Good. If you follow the little blue light to conference room three, he'll meet you there. seeing you again. Aren't you interested to know if my memory's improved? Your memory? Of course. I'm sure Dr. Fravel would have been interested too. Had she still been alive? Yeah. Listen, I'm sorry about what happened to her. But I need information, Dr. Loomis. And I'm sorry, Sir Harris. But I don't think I'm in any position to help you. Doctor, look, I've got problems. 
I think maybe you've got them too from the way you look, but at least you remember your past life. I know how to do things, but not how I know how to do them. I've got no past. That pod I came in is the only link with who I was, and you're the only one who saw it. Okay. There were suggestions that we should forget your case ever happened. Suggestions from who? No names. Just a lot of veiled threats. You arrived in a pretty beat-up pod, Aris. Custom-built, not one of the off-the-peg models. At least ten years old. Ten years? It could have been older. And you hadn't been in a hospital. There was no practitioner's seal on the pod when we opened it. The pod displays wouldn't show any reg number or planet of origin. But we didn't have a lot of time to bother about that. You were already in full cycle. The crash had started the pod's resuscitation routines. They took the thing away, but I don't know where. More than that, I can't help you. And I think the less we're seen together, the better. Good luck, Sir Alice. You're going to need a whole lot of it. the mess mess the mind that's the slogan for today don't know what it means but uh, when did that ever stop progress eh how can i help sir Lev aris excellent i can only give you a few minutes i'm afraid sir aris on the way to a meeting three meetings actually simultaneously i appreciate it where do i put those minutes you must be with taffin reclamation Yes. Hey, it's really cool about that memory solid turning up. Could have had mucho trouble decommissioning the pod without it. Um, you want tea? Coffee? Liquid air? That is... That is? That is ain't in the script, is it? That is is decidedly un this conversation. Well... You're not with Taffin, are you? Whoever you are... The idea of you coming in here wearing a fake beard and moustache, metaphorically speaking, doesn't float my boat. Do you hear what I'm saying? I'm sorry, Sir Santana. Listen, I've been going through some kind of hell the last few days, but I shouldn't have tried it on. I'm not with Taffin. <laughs> Tell you the truth, he gives me the creepers anyway. So what does bring you here? The pod that Taffin sold you. I have an interest in it. And <laughs> that I figured. I was in it just before it was sold. That would account for the interest. I'm trying to clear up some questions about the facility I was in prior to being put in the pod, but I can't do that without the pod's serial number, and it doesn't show in the manifest of the ship it was on. What ship was that? The Canera. The one that crashed? Hey, that whole business was not unstrange. Some crazy rumors flying around, way off the planet. Could you put some clothes on those rumors? Maybe. But it's the pod that I'm interested in. Can you, um, can you give me the serial number? Well, if I had time to think about it, I'm sure there are a million reasons why I shouldn't. But I'm in a charitable mood, and I do have a meeting to get to. Three. Meetings. <laughs> On the button. Hmm. Here's what you're after. I've transferred it to your computer. If you follow the landings and the cargo information attached to that tracking number, you ought to be able to find the planet of origin. That's the old number. A new one's been assigned since we bought the pod. Thanks. 
You said something about a memory solid going missing. Yes, not something that normally would become detached. Is there anything else I can do for you? No. You've been very helpful. Thanks very much. Think nothing of it. Sir, look, I'm sorry. Please, please listen. I, I really need this information, and I, I don't know what to do to get it. Not threatening people might be one thing. Consider yourself unthreatened. Please. I really need your help. <laughs> Is it, um... Is it all right, then, if, if I just wait until someone comes who I can take this up with? All right. But I can't guarantee anything different will happen. about this pod? I was in it. I was being transported from a medical facility and they, um, they left me with some physical problems that I won't be able to handle until I find out where that facility was. But the pod went down in the Canera. Oh my goodness. And some data was lost from the pod's memory and now it can't be traced. Listen, I, um, I have the pod's serial number, if, if it would be of any help. Come here. We really shouldn't be doing this. There. It was commissioned and paid for by a Jan Mai Tor on Janus 4. Goodness. The record's almost 20 years old. What? Anyway, there's his address. Though there's no guarantee he's there anymore. Was that all you came about? Yeah. Right. I've transferred the information into your computer. Now you better get out of here before my boss gets back. I never saw you. Even if you do look a lot like my little brother. Sarah, thanks very much. Go on, get out before my boss sees you and ask what you wanted. For you. Excellent. Glad you had the time. I gather you've not been unbusy. Hey, could you take a package for return to Cryos? Double the fun, double the fee. I do it myself, but. Got a meeting. Lots of. Certainly. Great. This goes to Shernikov Medical Supplies on Cryos. The whole address is there on the label. Fine. Sorry, I can't. All right. Thanks, anyway. Planetary aid. All right. I've transferred your fee. Um, just drop it there. Anything else? Or would you like to sit in the status field a while? No, I'll um, pass, thanks. I hear you've been a busy little boy out there. Beats having nothing to do. Well, well. 
I'd um, offer to buy you a drink, but you, uh, you seem to be uh, pretty well equipped. Yeah, that's what they all say. And it's always a fool who listens. Why? Haven't I seen you around here before? I thought that was supposed to be my life. I'm serious. You're that hot pilot, aren't you? You free this week? I am, but um, I was hoping to hang on to my liver a while longer. A humorist. Tell me, sir, hot pilot. You ever killed anybody? It's hard to avoid in my line of work. Do you want to kill someone else? I can pay. Who do you have in mind? My old boss. It's the oldest story in the book. He says to me, Bernice, someday you're going to have my job. But first, you'll need a little coaching. And I believed him. Oh, he coached me all right. And when promotion time came around, guess who got promoted? And guess who got bimbo tracked? As you say, an old story. With a very old solution. Heart failure. Is. You interested? Depends on the payment. Cash on the barrel head. And when I hear he's dead, 7,000. Dress, codes, details of his comings and goings. And make it a slow death. I want this bastard to suffer. Sorry, Sarah. I don't think so. Another little boy in man's clothing. Go away, little boy. You bother me. You do odd space jobs here and there. What of it? I found my old Grandpa Duck's journal. It's a MacArthur Model 6 Journal Master Mark 41. Lucky old Grandpa Duck. Oh, don't mind if I do, I'll have a beer. You'll have to speak up. Eardrums got a little dented. Too many explosions. What's your problem? Next Tuesday. Now, came across an entry. He left uh, an old warehouse full of hardware on Bex just before he died. The equipment is still there. I think I get the picture. No, I'm not religious myself. All you've got to do is go and pick the stuff up. <laughs> Clever guy like you should be able to do that. Yeah, but how will I know how to find the plane? Uh, just land, and a friend of mine will have the stuff loaded for you. What's in it for me? <laughs> my knees, five. <laughs> it's my ears. <laughs> Payment. Oh, 6,000. And I'll throw in hollow book I wrote about military hardware through the ages. <laughs> I ever wanted to see the inside of her. Why should you see the inside of Hades? Unless you're guilty of a crime. Am I being accused of something here? Not necessarily. Now look, I save your life. I choose to follow you down here. Now, if you don't quit playing the man of mystery, I'm going to get back on my ship and I'll take my own chances with whoever's trying to nail me. 
The organized crime group. Over the past 40 years, they've infiltrated every aspect of society. Commerce, government, law enforcement. On every planet known to man, they manipulate stock markets, planetary economies, politics. And anyone who tries to stop them, anyone who tries to get in their way, they're eliminated. That puts you in the firing line, I said. It's my job. That's all it is, a job. The man who runs the organization has stayed in the shadows for some time. But you tell me, Aris. You tell me about the man who runs the Kindred. What am I supposed to know? He's clever, ruthless, brilliant by all accounts, lavish with rewards to his faithful servants, brutal to those who aren't. Yeah, I think we've established that he's a powerful bastard. What's that to do with me? In the Kindred organization, his name is Kronos. CIS is war with the Kindred. It's a war you found yourself in the middle of. I don't want any part of it. I've got my own problems. You haven't begun to have problems. You cross me, you'll have problems. You're gonna have to choose sides, Aris. Which brings us to the Kindred operative known as Malachi. Yeah, look, maybe I knew him once. I had a crash. So we noticed. Memory loss. Unlucky, or a good excuse. What's so important about Malachi? We think he's one of Kronos' top lieutenants, possibly his closest friend for many years. And he seems inordinately interested in you. Why? That's the question. Maybe he was the one who erased your personal records. Maybe he was the one trying to get you at the hospital at Cryos. What's important is he's trying to get to you. And that means you can help us get him. You want to use me as bait? Mm. We'll be doing each other a favor. No way. No, this is your crusade, Hussain. Who was it, a CIS partner? A lover? Who did the Kindred kill that's burnt you so bad? It's got nothing to do with it. You're lying. There was someone. But that doesn't make taking a murderous dog like Malachi out of orbit any less important. Okay, I need extra weapon systems installed in my ship. A blind fire doom? Absolutely. And I need files, a complete breakdown of everything you know about the Kindred. You got it. And I'll give you some passwords. Get you the computers of a firm called Blessed Aquiline on Bex. You might find something of interest. What happens if the Bex police catch me snooping through their files? Don't let them. A CIS operative condoning breaking the law. I prefer to think of it as bending. Well, don't you have your own agents for this kind of thing? Never know who to trust in this business, Aris. It's a dirty war. We got moles inside the CIS. We got agents in their organization. We're getting the mushroom treatment. The mushroom treatment? Yeah, feed them shit. Keep them in the dark. You'll find the files and passwords for Aqua One in your ship's computer. You should check out the business of a man called Hugo Carmichael. What happens when Cronus's people get to me? We won't be far behind. My boss, Schiller and Abikoff, been chasing Cronus a long time. We both want him bad. We can get to him through Malachi. And when I'm through with all this? Maybe by then, you'll know who you are. Be able to make your own choice. Troubles outside. 
Sometimes they just follow you in. Looking for something special, huh? Yeah. But first, you want a drink? A big one. Right again. Somebody who knows how to crack a password. Is that all? Grab yourself a seat. I'll bend a few appropriate ears. Dimitri. I believe you're being called Aris. I believe so. Joe says you've got some nature of a problem. Aha. Take two. Spiteful. Spiteful, huh? Well, the algorithm for breaking this little baby is going to be a technical headache on a major scale. We are talking problems. How many problems? About 30,000 problem, I'd venture. That's a lot of problems. So is this. Where I have to go for the algorithm, I may not be able to go again for a while. I have to cover my lost business. 20,000. <laughs> Take it or leave it. This one's hotter than a Venturi chamber with an answer. Okay, you're on. Good. It will take me a little while to get this sorted. Time wise. You hang limply and abuse yourself. Where are you going? Somewhere quiet to work. No, 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 no. How do I know you won't just run off with me? Dimitri, don't run. Unless there's a fight. from its location in a previously unsurveyed star system of It is, when you know how. Go on. What's that? Do a decapitalin. What? Someone must have nervous body trying to force this. There's enough Dudek here to blow you, me, sinners, and this whole goddamn side of this port into vapors. And the hope would leave this smoke afterwards. Just goes to show you. It pays to spend money on quality work. Meanwhile, if I were you, I'd take that somewhere quiet. Hi, how are you doing? 
I'm here to pick up a package from a Dr. Graham Gold. Sir Aris, he's left it here for you. It's to go to interplanetary aid. A Sir Angus Santana. Your payment comes through on delivery. Thanks. I might be. Then again, who's asking? My name's Lev Aris. I believe you're in possession of a medical pod. Oh, no. Not me. Uh -uh. The public database says you got it off the Canara. Don't believe everything you read in the database. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got a wayward biochip I got to de-discombobulate. Good day. Sir Taffin, I realize how precious your time is, and I would hate to have to bother you with this again. I'd sooner we come to some accommodation. Uh, accommodation is pretty expensive around these parts. I don't expect to pay basement prices for a penthouse suite. The kind of place you're looking for cost 10000 I don't have that much. Then I don't have that much to say. Come back when you've got it. I just thought... You didn't think, Cully. You don't have the necessary. Come back when you do. You like having a conversation with you? Yeah. Now about that pot. I sold it to a guy named Angus Santana on Anner. He works for some charity called Interplanetary Aid. What did Santana want with it? They were looking for something to use as a medevac. How come you sold it so fast? I don't like trouble. That ship's trouble. There were some people. There was a lot of questions. Everyone's getting rid of anything they had from that ship. Why all the interest in it? Get out of here. Carmichael. Who wants to know? My name's Lev Aris. I have some questions for you. Yeah, I bet you have. It's pity I'm fresh out of answers. Looks like you're going somewhere in a hurry. Oh, what gives you that impression? Malachi. Mala what? Your sudden departure wouldn't have anything to do with Malachi, would it? Only if I believed in ghosts. Listen, pal, I've got a ship to catch. Not before I ask you a couple of questions about a box you're taking care of. I don't know nothing about no box. Someone named Lan Regis. Are you running in a new brain, or what? I already told you, that worm food's nothing to worry about. Now get out of here. You seem a little nervous. Only about missing my ship. Does this have something to do with me? <laughs> you really restore my faith in human stupidity. Hand me my trunks. Let me help you somehow. You? Help me? You got a ship? You got D-Drive? Yeah. Well, so have I. And I'm going to Hephaestus. It's a long journey and nasty things can happen when you're flying alone. So, if you're so keen to find a good Samaritan, you can watch my arse, okay? Sure. Is it Malachi you're worried about? Oh, Jesus, you are behind the times. Malachi was a code name for Lon Regis. He fried when the Canera went down. I haven't laughed so much since my first divorce. <laughs> Malachi on the Canera? We'll talk when we get to Hephaestus. Oh, 
Excuse me. Um, I I'm looking for somebody called Hugo Carmichael. He's, um, he's a guest, I believe. Certainly, sir. Just follow your lovely hostess. She'll take you to his room. This way, sir. Enjoy your stay in Sir Jan Mitel, please. No, go away. The pod, you mad old bastard. The one that went down in the Canera. Canera? You mean Malika didn't... <laughs> what do you want us now? I want to know where that pod was before it was put on board the Canera when I was pulling it. Why are you asking me these things? I'm not supposed to know them. I'm supposed to have forgotten them. Well, remember those things. Now! Kappa Labs. Kappa, Kappa, damn you. Now go, leave us alone. Give me the coordinates. But you know. It's out in the scatter belt. Listen, it was all so long ago. But it was all right, the part worked. Just, just tell me what you want. Who put me in the pot? Go to Kappa Labs, you will see. If I open my mouth, you know what they'll do. You know better than most. Don't you? My heart, my heart, I can't Your father, he would... He said... Father, what about my father? What about my father?
bombs. That is I. It's, um, it's Lord Bombs, isn't it? I, I, I've seen you on hollow. <laughs> I don't stand on ceremony at home, or many other places. <laughs> Sit down, man. So, how can I help you? I have word of an arms shipment, which will be making its way from Hephaestus to Anhur. It must be destroyed. Why? Because the arms being transshipped are intended for the civil war on Caractacus. If they reach that planet, thousands of people will die who need not do so. That strikes me as reason enough. You and your ship come well spoken of. Will you take the commission? The price is 8,000, paid to you on confirmation of the destruction of that shipment. Gun camera shots will be sufficient. 8,000 is a lot for blowing one ship. It's not a lot for saving 8,000 lives or so. Which it will. Sorry, my lord. It's not for me. Very well. Goodbye, then. a matter of opinion. My daddy will be so pleased with you. I'm his favourite. Well, um, actually, his only child. But that still makes me his favourite, doesn't it? Absolutely. Look, um... Daddy is very important on Anna. Not that I want to go back there. I like being on my own. I'm a grown woman. Yes, yeah, so you are. Do you want to be my partner? I've been looking for a partner ever since I left home. We could do jobs and risky errands and stuff. Oh, it'd be so much fun. Probably form madly head over heels in love. Everything. Sorry, uh, Sarah, I, I, I didn't catch your name. Oh, Louisa, Elizabeth, Einstein, Mayflower, Tennessee, Buttercup, Phillips. Well, uh, unfortunately, uh, Louisa, Elizabeth. Unfortunately, Lou, I can't stay. Um, I, I've got to meet somebody. They're not here. Um, I better go. Nice talk to you. Try and stay away from dangerous areas next time. Oh, oh don't go. What about you being my partner? What about us? been a profitable run, this last one. I want to disappear for a little while, if you understand me. <laughs> I need someone to come along to make sure I got to Janus in one piece. I'll pay you 4,000 credits. Interesting. Sorry, friend. Can't do it just now. when you're ready to leave, yeah? Live! 
<laughs> I've had the money we discussed transferred to your account. Thanks again for your help. You're welcome. Are you sure you're going to be all right here? Yes, indeed. I'm going fishing. <laughs> You've introduced yourself. When you blew away those goons that were trying to ruin my day, you have the dry slips, mister. Let me wet them for you, little. Cheers. Bottoms up. Well, that depends. Melissa Banks. Lev Aris. Thanks for helping me out, Liv. It was a pleasure. Was or is? Well, that depends. Who were those guys anyway? Jealous boyfriends? Something to do with my dead brother. Oh, I'm sorry. He got killed a few months back. Only heard about it recently. Started asking questions, then suddenly started finding people like that waiting out in the dark for me. Dark is no place to be alone in. What do you suggest? I could use a wingman. Interested? I should warn you that I'm not really looking for a long-term relationship. And I'm not offering one. It's just that I need to get safely out system. I've got a few more questions about my brother that still need answering. So what are you looking for, Leveris? Just some guy I used to know. Maybe I could help you find him. Yeah. I think maybe you could. Unfortunately, my uh, schedule is a little full at the moment. Listen, I, I understand completely. It's a lot to ask. I'll do all right. It's just that I saw how good you were. But I still owe you a favor. And I hope I get the chance to let you know how grateful I am. Eventually. Was macht das Geschäft? Läuft bestens. 
suchst du immer noch den Mann, den du mal kanntest? Ja, hast du immer noch im Dunkeln Angst, allein zu sein? Angst? Davon war nie die Rede. Ich lasse mich nur gern begleiten. Natürlich nicht von jedem. Ich bin wählerisch. Das weiß ich. Du hast wohl Leute über mich befragt. Das war nicht nötig. Es gibt eine Menge Gerüchte über dich. Eines gibt es sogar für dich und mich unglaublich was. Du sagst es. Aber wir sollten den Leuten noch mehr Stoff geben. Hast du jetzt Zeit? Zeit wofür? Ist das denn legal? Legal? <lacht> Erst mal sehen, ob es körperlich machbar ist. <lacht> dass du mit einem Weltraumflittchen im Bett warst. Das sind lauter Lügen, glaub mir. Sie ist gar nicht mein Typ. Oh. Und wer ist dein Typ? Lass uns raufgehen und Onkel Doktor spielen. Ja. Gehen wir. Sieht gut aus. Du weißt wohl nicht, was die hier alles ins Essen tun. Nein. Das weiß niemand. Es ist sowieso das Beste, wenn das kein Gast erfährt. Ich würde auch gern was knabbern. Den Appetit verloren? Oh, oh. Ganz im Gegenteil. Sieht man dich auch mal wieder. Ich wette, du hast es vergessen. Was denn vergessen? Unser erstes Jubiläum. Unser was? Heute vor einem Jahr sind wir uns zum ersten Mal begegnet. Ich tauchte aus dem Nichts auf und rettete dein Leben. Ich erinnere mich da aber an eine andere Version. Typisch, Mann. Verzeihung, kennen wir uns? Ja, ziemlich gut, würde ich sagen. Mir kommt ihr Gesicht irgendwie bekannt vor, aber... Oh, das ist wirklich schade. Dann war es ja umsonst, dass ich die Hotelsuite mit dem Wasserfall Whirlpool buchte. Melissa! Alles Gute zum ersten Jahrestag, Schatz. Kenne ich Sie, mein Herr? Aber ja, du hast mir das Leben gerettet. So? Ich kann mich nicht daran erinnern. Wir waren in der Rampant Robot Bar. Du hast mir ein Mittel gegen trockene Lippen verabreicht. Tatsächlich? Sag mal, gibt's in dieser Suite wirklich einen Wasserfall Whirlpool? Sehen wir mal nach. I'm Ralph McLeod. Mighty pleased to meet you, stranger, on account of you just saving my butt. Let me, uh, throw a few drinks down that fine gullet of yours. Bartender? Now, listen, bud. I reckon one good turn deserves... Well, hell, deserves a darn sight more than just another cliche, huh? What I'm trying to say is, uh, I want to do something to help you in return. Yes, sir? Well, if you insist. Glad to hear you say that. Uh, though I might look like just another lonesome space boat, I happen to have an extra set of Kraken Mark IV lasers in my ship, and I'd be pleased and mighty proud to install them in yours. Well, I'd be pleased and mighty proud to accept that offer. Thanks, McLeod. Don't mention it. Come in. Sir, I have a lot to thank you for. I hope you'll allow my father to drop several thousand credits in your account by way of thanks. 
Heaven forbid I should argue the point. He's also taken the liberty of looking into your past records. And he's going to ask the authorities to remove a few unfortunate blots. That's very nice of him. And I think I can find some more concrete ways to say thank you. Mm, sounds like fun. Exactly. Uh, a small and exquisitely made image of the Lord of the Brews in his aspect as taster. Uh, the holy cup in one hand is how the raised in blessing. Oh, a, a thing of great beauty of history which our people have cherished for a millennia. And now, all gone. <laughs> would do anything to get it back. Anything. How much anything? Oh, quite a lot. Uh, ten thou at least. Nasty, despoiling infidels. You, um, you got their names, did you? Oh, yes, indeed. Bray, Ronnie or Reggie. I feel like I've fallen into a Caprat's hole. Yes, the Beck's religious impulse has its collective side, as in collect anything and keep it, whether you remember where it came from or not. And you, Sir Fossa, what do you collect? Opportunities. I've just come by a nice, shiny new one. Oh? There's about to be a private auction of something rather special. A couple of business associates have just acquired a small piece of religious art. They're about to sell it off. I don't think they know how special it is, and if I turned up at the auction, it might tip them off. Well, it sounds to me like you need someone to act for you, someone who doesn't usually turn up at auctions. There would be more than adequate remuneration in it for the agent. Are you interested? How adequate? Five thousand or so. All you would need to do is bid on my behalf. Why not? Why ask questions? I might as well. No. I want to drink and look at the artwork and the, um, pretty nuns. Why not? Why ask questions? Uh well, there's nothing pressing on it. And one can only look at so many pictures of the Holy Vine without getting a hangover. Very well. The auction will be in here later this evening. How high do you want me to bid? No limit. You'll find enough to cover in your account. I'll pick the object up from you after the auction. 
the holy brewer's blessing on yourself. You want something, Governor? Yeah. In. In? Into what? Word gets around, says. Let's see what the bidding's about. We don't recognize you. You'll recognize the color of my credit soon enough. Let's have a look. Not the original, an early copy in it. Start a bidding. Fine. Be serious. I'll break your legs. Fifteen. Better. Twenty. Thirty. Thirty-five. Forty. Forty-two. Hundred. Hundred crates for this piece of piss. Unlike art. Any other bits? You confirm payment. Good. Good night, says. This belongs to you. The Holy One! The image of the Maker of Malts! Not an early copy. The original! May the thieves thirst forever! Yes! <laughs> My nephew, how did you come by this thing? Honestly, I hope. I think we'd better let that fall by the wayside for the moment. Uh, no matter. The holy brew of the Great One washes all memory free, especially the inconvenient ones. <laughs> but my nephew, you must allow the avuncular order to say thank you. Well, think nothing of it. But you must! Otherwise, in the next world, the Holy One will withhold the divine brew from us. Would uh, 10,000 be adequate? Ten's a nice round number, but um, I, I, I wouldn't want to be greedy. Greed is in the heart, not in the credit account. Uh, suppose it 20 and suppose it done. And come and have a beer! Now you mention it, I am a little dry. <laughs> Come on, this way! <laughs> you make me very happy!
I hear you've got yourself a ship. You must have good ears. You got a little time on your hands? Who's asking? Xavier Shandy, with an X. Lev Aris, with a Y. A Y? Why do you want me on my ship? <laughs> got a ship, my band, I. All nice gear. <laughs> Requires a bit of a sporty. I don't usually do escort work. Something sensitive. <laughs> I wouldn't say sensitive. Well, a little moody, maybe. I charge extra for arms shipments. They tend to attract unwanted attention. And I've got to know what it's for, otherwise no go. There's a nice little, um... uprising on Caracticus. What, the mutant thing? I prefer to think of them as genetically challenged. You got something against muties? Not if I can help it. So come on, Xavier, with an X. What's the score? Guns. Transport. What are we talking, Craig Weiss? 8,000 up front, Tito on completion. You're on. Cred me. Credits where credit's due. I'll get the rest when I get back here. Everything sweet. Not too many problems. Seven thousand. What we agreed on. Eight, and you know it. <laughs> Silly me. It'll be transferred then. Thanks, Harris. Very nice job. Treating you. Not too bad, Sir Shondi. Yourself? Let's sit down. And I'll give you a bit of narrative. Download this. We've got a cargo from GA very soon. I've got to go around it over there, out by the system jump point. You need someone to fly shotgun for? <laughs> Not the cargo. My little mining operation. Some places out here have been getting whacked off late. I hate to have that occurring while I was off taking care of business. What kind of price are we talking? 5,000. I can't front it to you, unfortunately. Cash flow problems. You'll get it all when I get back, though. I got cash flow problems too, Xavier. I can't do it for skin right now. Oh, yes, I understand. I'll have to look elsewhere now. Well, you were pretty good to me the last time. I don't see why not. You're solid, Aris. We'll have to head right out there. I'll leave in a few hours. Right you are. Let's go. I just hate not getting paid. A man after my own heart. <laughs> I'll settle for my five thousand. Take ten. But that's twice what we agreed. That's what you deserve. Now shut up and let me buy you a drink. <laughs> I 
nice strong fog. I owe you one. How about right now? Yeah, come on. My guess. A favor? Depends. A paid favor? My favorite kind. Can you get me out of here? Sorry? I don't particularly want to be here. Unfortunately, some people want my money to be here. Your money? I've just come into some. Quite a lot, actually. But if I don't move pretty fast now, these people are going to get it. But what can I do, Auntie? Get me off planet now. I'll give you 3,000 credits to get me to Hephaestus. Well, why not? Okay. Escorting her shouldn't shouldn't Sir Aris, I owe you my freedom. And three thousand credits. Paid with thanks. And the beer? Oh, don't talk to me about beer. That was weird. Well, I think I will call it a video and see you guys soon. found something of interest. News travels fast. Doesn't spend enough money. Malachi's dead. Malachi's dead? Went down with the Canary. Listen, does the name Reinhardt mean anything to you? Maybe. Maybe a code name for one of Kronos lieutenants. You sure he's dead? Yeah, of course I'm sure. What's the problem? Well, if Malachi's dead, who the hell have we got? We got the guy who sent you all the email. Caught him. So he was leaving Bex. Reading my email? David, I've got to meet this guy. You owe me. Hey, man. CIS, Secure Services. Bex TP, High Security Facility. BTP. Chief Proctor's Office. Ron, it's David Hassan. David, the orders came through this morning. He's on his way. What orders? Moving a prisoner over to Hades. Orders? Under whose seal? Yours. W what's going on? These orders come through. Last night, we shipped him out a couple of hours ago. Tell BTP to get everything they can out there. That ship's going to be attacked. Coming?
So you made it through after all. Bravo. Bravo? You know how many people have died? Oh, who the hell cares? Who are you? Well, I suppose we're all friends around here. My code name is Reinhardt. You sure you're not Malachi? Don't be absurd. Malachi's dead. Do I look dead? Malachi and I, we, uh, well, let's say we used to be Kronos' right-hand men. Used to be? So, um, where do I fit into all this? Please, please, let us proceed in an orderly fashion. Information is a valuable commodity. Before I tell you anything, I will require certain assurances. I find myself being sought by both the Kindred and the CIS. And you think we're the softer option? Positively sponge-like, David. I require a CIS protection plan, a new identity on one of the more idyllic outworlds. Mm, that could be arranged. I never doubted it. So, um... Who am I? Do you remember your brother? My brother? Your twin brother. You were born just moments before him, which made you the oldest. Therein lie the problem. My brother? Son. How he hated the way your mother doted on you. Then when you got sick with the AOS virus and they froze you, it broke her heart. Sa always blamed you for her death. This is bullshit. It can't be. What, what, what can it be? When your father's heart gave out on him, you were still in deep freeze, so the mantle of power went to your little brother. My father? Valricard. You are Valricard the second. But he died 20 years ago. No, he was put into a cryopod 20 years ago. Lev, your, your father was founder of Ricard Planetary. Which became the Kindred. Since taking over, Sa has turned himself into Kronos. Kronos? That was a boardroom nickname for my father, the old man. Now it's your brother, who was always unstable, but constant use of revive. Well, the, the anti-aging drug, that stuff's dangerous, isn't it? Only as far as it eventually makes you age faster and, as an added bonus, turns the mind to jelly. Which is what's happening to little Sa, much to my distress. Tom, things got too messy, even for you. My heart bleeds. Yes, it does bleed. It's bled profusely since that little accident we arranged. Do you ever wish that it was you that died and not your shit right I think he's just trying to wind you up. Succeeding, it seems. To think, if you hadn't been frozen, you'd have been part of our war against the CIS. There wouldn't have been quite such buddy love between you then, huh? Yeah, whoever I was, I've changed. People don't change that much. Some are born wolves. Some are sheep. You might be wearing sheep's clothing, but your fangs are showing through. Yeah, well, uh, maybe uh, losing my memory was the best thing that could have happened to me. It's, um, it's given me a chance to choose the way. God, this has become dangerously close to being a religious experience. Forget it. As soon as all your memories return, you'll be just like you used to be. Your father's son. Maybe he's right. Your old man was a wise one. When he had Jan Mitor freeze you, he also stored all the company access codes with you. Yeah, he did. I'm remembering that now. When Sa went off the rails, Malachi and I knew we needed the sun and air back, but Sa found out had Malachi killed in the Chimera. Those, um, those guys in the hospital? First two were mine. I didn't tell the idiots to trash the whole place just to get you out of there. And the second two were Sa's come to blow me away, and when that didn't work, he sent Kindred Ops to tell me to finish off the job. He knows you could replace him. That's right, I will. They maybe have a chance to test that resolve. He's coming to take someone out himself. Who? Me? His boss. The head of CIS. Shall I have a cough? The security conference. The very same. David, this is my war too. What side are you on? The right side. 
Sir Harris, remember, once a wolf, always a wolf. Someone cheaper then. so well adjusted, Tar, otherwise that could have driven you a little crazy. You look like shit, by the way. Shit. Shit! Still the same old smug bell, eh? Well, your face might be new, but that's the only thing that is. Your history. The firm's done quite nicely without you. That's not what I heard. You've become a liability, an embarrassment. People are laughing at you. Go on, Master Kronos! Kronos was our father. You're not fit to carry the same name. Neither of us are. I'm fit enough to expand my kindred, to make it more feared, more hated, more effective. More bullshit, brother. The kindred is falling apart quicker than you are. You're just jealous! Jealous because I was the eldest. Jealous because Mummy liked me better than you! Go on. Admit it. Admit it, Sar. You're jealous of me. You're crazy. I'm Val your Sar, remember? No, I'm... I... I mean... Oh, it's not fair. It was never fair. Yes. Face it, Sar. You've cracked and all your plans have cracked too. No! I'll show them. I'll show them me who's the eldest. I was nastier than you. Harder, meaner. I'll show them who's best son. But they're both dead. Father never liked you. A mother only. Don't you dare mention her! You pushed me aside in the womb, didn't you? I should have come out first, but you pushed me aside. I couldn't say so. I think I was asleep at the time. Oh, always the jokes. Always the witty replies. Always light. Always love. <laughs> I have the keywords to all the shell accounts, but more than that, I can be Kronos for as long as I want to. No! For as long as it takes to put things right. No, you can't. I'm Kronos. 
I am Kronos. I am... Say goodnight, little brother. Oh, the light. Leave the light on, mommy. Please. Mommy. Leave the light. The light. Take me to one of the escape ships. We're going home.